Hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video uh, I'm going to be comparing the Switch OLED and the regular Switch outside in the sun because I've already shot a video playing Mario Kart 8 on my regular V2 Switch and in that video I did mention that I might try out and compare how the OLED handled outside. Uh, but obviously he's got an OLED Switch there and it's got different screen technology uh, we've both got a copy of Mario Kart, so are you ready to load it up? Uh, yeah. Alright. Ready? Yep. We've already like, played so, together before. I we? don't actually know if you can see anything on the camera screen, um, but you can at least... Yours is yeah. great with angles. Ooh. Whereas mine, I can see from any angle even, or pretty much any angle. Well, I you've got OLED, so it's got better viewing angles and crisper colours and all that rubbish. Single player. So, I can see it. I don't think it's going to be, I mean, like I said, I've already shot a video doing this one in the sun, but it's whether you can actually play it. You, you do have to... You have to angle yours quite well. Yeah. Right, are you doing 50cc? I certainly am. It's because you're bad at the game. Ready? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, screw it, we'll keep it that. Right. We did mushroom cup last time. We'll yeah. We'll do flower. Okay. So we'll do Mario circuit first. Ready? Yeah. Go. Loading in. Alright, so let's have a look. We've got loading screen here. I can actually see mine better than yours. But I don't know why that is. I can see mine quite well, but yours is mine's more of an angle. I mean, it's absolutely beaming down. Yeah, my back's getting really warm. Oh, I forgot how to play Mario Kart. I remembered. But it is a portable console, and you might want to take it out with you. And you need to be able to play it outside if you're taking it out with you. Yeah. Now I can. Got you, Bowser. Yum. I can see that pretty much perfectly. Yeah, right. I figured out my drift button. I don't play Mario Kart very often, so. I mean, the screen is a little dull, and if I twist the angle of it, then I do lose visibility. Right. There's an awful lot of reflection. I can see my face and the camera. Whereas I'm not getting as much reflection, and mine's at an angle, and I'm having no issues. So, I'm not sure whether this will come across on the camera, but are you saying that you can see yours clearly? Yes, even though I'm slightly to the right. What happens if you sort of, well, not tilt the switch, because you can't, because you're, what well, if you tilt yourself, can you? Yep, no problems with it. Does it change at all? Nope. So that would be, the OLED part of it, I would say. I believe so. The colour saturation stays the same and everything, so... No, it's, it is playable. That's fine. I'm not having any issues with well. I'm not entirely sure whether I'd want to sit out in blazing heat and play the Switch. And same, I wouldn't want to sit outside in the pouring rain or in the snow. Well, rain is a bit different. But I did cover about a year or so ago uh, about playing games consoles in the middle of a heat wave. I'm not going to say this is a heat wave, but it's getting on for it. Because um, I think we noticed that some of our consoles upstairs were getting extremely warm. Yeah. So, and that's indoors. Playing outside on a a rather thin console. I don't. Would, I wouldn't hazard a guess that the cooling in it is. Uh, Brand. Fantastic, and then to sit out here and bake it in the sun. Probably not the best idea. Especially since they're both black consoles. Yeah. The only saving grace of mine is the joy cons are white. That makes no difference though, does well, it? Well, it will, because my hands will get quite warm. But the fact that they're white means they don't absorb much heat. Oh, God. Go away. Go away. Stop. 
better. I don't know if you can see that at all on camera. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens when I play this back. Um, but the, the reflection is annoying on this one. I kind of lost it. There we go. So you know you have to be very careful with which angle you hold yours. So the, the interesting thing about these videos is that any modern console doesn't fare massively well in the sun. I've done this with a Vita, I've done it with a 3DS, and it's something to do with the backlight in the screen, but you do it on a Game Boy, or a Game Boy Color with no light in it at all, and you can see it, and absolutely, it, it's the best way to play a Game Boy is outside in the sun. I can't actually see your screen where I'm sat. And I can't see yours because I'm sitting at such an angle, all I can see is a reflection of a great big sun. All I can see is a reflection of the fence. Right. It's, it's seeable. Yours is seeable. And very seeable. Uh, the, I will say one thing that the sun does pick up is the smudgy fingerprint marks. Yes. <laughs> on both consoles. I don't have them on mine. Oh yeah, I do. Well, you know me, I like to keep mine clean. Yeah, I don't really. So we gonna do? Are we going to go for another race? Yeah, we might as well. We'll do one more. It's going to be a very short video otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's interesting. I think it depends on the angle of the sun and just how bright it is. On a normal day, it would be a lot easier to see. Yeah, on a but we are, day. we are sitting directly under it. In like mid-August. Actually, no, it's end, not, end of August. You can't say that. Because yeah. you don't know when this will go up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're going to know it was summertime ish, aren't you? Yeah, but you know what I'm like, I push my schedule around. Yeah, and now you've just told them that you push your schedule around, so they're going to be like, oh, you pushed the schedule around. Yeah, so. Oh, stop with the red shells. You could be seeing this at Christmas time, but it was actually. Sh oh, I just dropped. But it was actually shot. In August, so I'm I'm now having difficulty seeing the screen, and I don't know whether it's is it because it's got considerably bit more sunny. Maybe the sun has moved, or the clouds have moved at least. Yet yeah, the sun. Yeah, I know the sun doesn't move. If I tilt my switch a bit more forward, I can see it better. But it's not the most enjoyable experience. Distracted by a butterfly. Uh, about six months ago, so you're talking March time, I took my PS Vita to the park. Actually, I took my son to the park and brought my Vita along with me. <laughs> he was happy sitting there, spending an hour or so at the park, and I tried to play my Vita. And I've got the slim model, so it's not the OLED version. And it, it wasn't awesome. I hate this game. So do I, because I can't seem to jump over that bit. Um, yeah, there was too much glare and reflection. I think the, the Vita screen is a lot brighter. I always find that at least this model of the Switch seems to be quite dull. That's not bad. The only thing I'm not enjoying is being absolutely beamed by the sun. Mm, you, you don't like being outside very much, do you? It's too hot. Oh, wow. Oh, now the sun has just dropped completely. Yeah, oh, well, no. The clouds well, are covered up. Yeah, but it's not beaming, and I can see that perfectly fine. You could probably see mine now. Slightly. Yes. Ever so slightly. And I can see yours. So, Blair can you play it outside? Thing. Yes. Can you play them properly in absolutely beaming sun? No. I can. You must admit, though, this is without the sun absolutely cooking down. You know, it's gone behind a cloud. You should be. Able to, you can see it better, can't you? 
I didn't really notice much change because my back wasn't on fire. Right, well I have. And I'm wondering if... It's the OLED? No, I'm wondering if the camera will pick up the screen now that there's not a lot of screen glare. Maybe. <laughs> bugs all over me there. No, no, I'm about to win. What is the point of that red shell? Oh. I have to point out that we aren't actually playing together. Obviously. We've got two separate versions of Mario Kart. Yes. And quite clearly I'm better at Mario Kart. Well, I'm still first. Yeah, just ten, ten times longer. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking me so much longer than you. Because... Right, I've... it's got really overcast now. Nice. So I'm wondering if... If I lay mine flat, can you see it? Don't know. Um, well, there you go. That's uh, a normal switch and an OLED switch out in, well, both blister and sunshine and... Shade. Shade, a regular day. Um, uh, link, like, subscribe, enjoy.